Just I so just I don't... want to start my day with a big old cat ass in my face. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Gaining Ground. Before I begin this video, just a reminder, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Thank you all for the kind words this week. It's been a very emotional week for me. Um, as some of you or most of you know, Chantal, aka Fudibidi, uh, accepted help from a YouTuber called Swole Nuts on Your Chin or something. I don't know, who cares? And um, I was very happy for her because I was hoping this meant that she would uh, be losing weight. Um, and then the more I thought about it, and the more I watched his videos, I thought to myself, maybe he's not the best option for her. Um, people took that as me saying, oh, I'm dogging him and he doesn't know what he's doing. No, he obviously knows what he's doing. He's very fit. I just meant personality-wise, I feel like she needs a more gentler approach to weight loss. I'm not sure a remote screaming session at her is what would motivate her. Some people get motivated by the extra, by the in-your-face training style. This woman has a nervous breakdown when somebody releases videos critiquing her. So I thought to myself, maybe not the best partnership, but I hope for the best. I commented on her video, congratulating her and wishing her the best. And my comment never appeared. Y'all apparently went really hard for, hard for me, and she did reach out in a way or two. But we will get to that at a later time, perhaps during a live. I really want to watch this video. I'm hearing she's already quit the program before it even started. I don't know what happens. This is what I'm hearing. I haven't watched it yet, so I'm going to keep this intro short. I want to get right into it, so come along with me. Let's let's go up to Ottawa. Let's see what Chantal, aka Foodie Beauty, is doing. Is she starting the cycle? Was I wrong? Uh, were you all right again? Is this just the beginning of another mukbang cycle? No idea, but let's find out together. Let's go! All right, well, red flag number one, uh, the old intro. And the cats, uh, so that doesn't bode well for what I'm about to see. Hello, foodie beauty. Mm -hmm. Sam, what are you doing in there, Sam? Yay, cat intros. What are you trying to hide, Sam? You idiot. You cute. Cute. You cute weirdo. Sam's over it, too. Sam, Sam is so noise. over it. Oh, yes. Beezer. Sam is Hi, over Beez. it. Hi. What's new? New Oh, Peter Pete's Pete's. Oh, I wish you'd put, put that hair back up in a man bun. It's stressing me out. Uh, the beard's growing back in. Thank you, Lord Tub, because he is not... He's like me. Shaved faces do not work. The shirt's okay. I mean, it looks like a polo I'd probably wear, because like I said, you know me, I'm the king of bargain, uh, bargain basement shopping. The only thing I don't enjoy about that shirt is it seems super long. Is that a shirt or a house dress, uh, right? Doesn't it, Unless his jeans are the same cut. No, that's, well, I don't get why he's buying shirts made for seven feet tall people, and he's probably like four feet tall. Interesting. Uh, I still see boxes in the living room. I don't understand why are they not on packs. And uh, yeah, a nice microwave I get. Oh, only one sponge. I wonder if they heard me about the second sponge and they threw it away. Hmm. Shira has been out for the new season of Shira has been out for less Shira. than a day, and I've already seen Shira's back. When did Shira come back? I didn't realize Shira was back. Spoilers for one of the biggest moments of the entire series. So that's great. That really sucks. That Shira has you could have spoilers in a cartoon. Is it? A, I'm assuming. Wait, Shira came back. Where the hell has Shira been? I didn't even know she came back. You can have spoilers. I'm assuming it's in a cartoon form. I didn't realize cartoons can have spoilers. Like, what could possibly happen in a cartoon? It's not like she's sleeping with her best friend's husband or something. Like, what's the spoiler? It's a cartoon. Are they making cartoons dramatic now? Is it TVMA now? I should look into this. I used to love Shira as a kid, but I mean, it was the same episode over and over again. Shira, she gets up, she saves Eternia or wherever the hell she lived, and then she went back to bed. Well, spoiler alert. And why are you on social media if a new show is released and you don't want spoilers? Get off the socials. Even I know that. I don't even watch that much TV. Thanks, Twitter. Say Twitter. Why would you be on Twitter? Okay. Smoothies. All right. Okay. Um, still don't like that shirt, but I mean, kudos to her for, for the, the mirror shot. She's having full, she's having a full confidence moment and I'm here for it. No bra power. Is that a thing? Is not having a bra make you powerful? Okay, I mean, I guess it means you're free. Uh, yeah, I don't know where the hell she... I'm assuming she... I mean, she's not in a work bathroom. We know that much. So maybe in a doctor's office? I wonder what bathroom she's in. Oh, wait, she's at Farm Boy. 
So I love Farm Boy. That bathroom looked a little outdated, though. Farm Boy, you're going to get some new tile. Maybe get some different pop of color. Look at that bathroom. That corner that sink's falling apart. I mean, this bathroom looked old as hell. But I guess in a place called Farm Boy, it's probably supposed to look rustic. But still, this looks like a Kmart bathroom. I'm not impressed. But yeah, I mean, she looks okay. She kind of looks happy. Her hair is okay. Uh, her makeup looks okay from what I can see. I, like I said, I still hit that damn shirt. But I mean, listen, she's out. She's about. She's not sitting. So it's a win for Chantal. BBJ. I'm sorry, guys. Just so I, I want to uh, start my day with a big old cat ass in my face. I just got home, and every time I just get home, I should only dedicate a good 20 minutes to paying attention to my cats. You could pick up the cat and move him. BBJ. <laughs> Hi, BBJ. How are you guys? How are you? Her hair looks interesting today. Um, <clears throat> it looks shiny and sheeny. I enjoy. I enjoy the hair. I enjoy the makeup. She's got the the eyes are definitely looking. She got. I think she got one of them wings that she does. I like that wing. The wing tips. A lot of wings this week. Amber Lynn had wings. She's got wings. Uh, the lips are okay. They're shiny. You know me though. I like a big old pop. I like when she puts them. 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 Uh, street worker. Not street worker. Oh god, sex worker. Nobody sue me. Sex worker colors. I think those colors work really nice in her. And yeah, the, the face is subtle with makeup. Uh, I like that purse. Uh, is that one purse or two purses? Interesting. It looks like two purses. No, it's okay. It's one purse, but it has like two different patterns. Very interesting. The Cursori is not back there. Really pissing me off. There's no Cursori, but it is what it is. And of course, the Hello Foodie Beauty signs have already been retired. Why am I surprised? It's been a couple days, and I know that. I was worried. A lot of you are waiting. I for know. Me. I was emotionally distressed. A lot of you were sending me uh, messages, of condolences. I did not have the strength to respond to them all. I apologize, but I did receive your messages. Um, I had it just like the last couple days have been very emotionally hard for me, but um, I made it through, and I'm, I'm glad she's made a video. I was concerned, and let's. Leave it at that. Some kind of update, which is understandable. I'm busy. Oh, gosh. Sorry, my lips were dry. To the point where it's bugging me. Mine so, too. All right. So here's the thing. There we go. A lot of you are dying to um, know how I'm, I'm doing, especially mm -hmm. uh, since offering help from Papa Swole. I'm going to link his program. If you want to follow it as well, it's um, I'm going to put it in the description below. Uh, SwoleMarmisX.com. And I'm going to go over the wonderful things that I've discovered about this program. And I haven't even unlocked. I'm so confused. Most of it. Okay. So, okay. all right. At first, when I checked out his channel, I think my initial reaction was this asshole's making fun of me. Um, and, and one video he made, I thought, this asshole's making fun of me. He's obnoxious. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then I watched the more recent video. So, is she not quitting? I'm help. so confused. And then I watched more of his videos. And how they're doing it with me is they're providing me for free with the oh, service. So okay, so she didn't quit. And I think it's like less than a cup for a cup, $2 and something to access their website. They have different tiers, but the, the, the base... I mean, is this an infomercial for Swole Normus? I mean, did you see... What did I say on Wednesday? What did I say on Wednesday? Seriously, what did I say? This is ridiculous. You didn't... So she accepted help, and now she's going to try to pimp this program out to the rest of us? I mean, come on. Like two bucks, okay? And that gives you... I, I come on. Exactly we all are well access. aware of where he is. If we want to see about his program, we'll go to his program. But I mean, this is the kind of garbage I was talking about this is why i did not take it seriously and the beginning of this video is already pissing me off it's giving me a damn hemorrhoid but i know it does give you access to the facebook support group which is um i uh, swear this was just all calculated on both parties and a lot of you were like he's got like 110,000 subscribers why do you think he needed to do this i mean because he doesn't have 210,000 subscribers and she's got another 80 coming i mean come on Tell me this wasn't calculated, please. Which is guarded with admins. So Again, I'm, this is not. I'm not saying the guy doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, hello, look at him, look at me. He knows what he's doing, and I'm still working to get to that point. I've been working a very long time. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just. I just feel like this was exploitative. Exploitative. Exploited. Exploitative. Exploitative. I don't know. Post. It's not free for all. It's very positive. Very very supportive. All right. So. Then I started watching, they unlocked the kitchen part, which is the nutrition uh, side and his philosophy with nutrition and the diet and how to do it. And when I started watching him in those videos, I realized that Here we go. this man is very, um, I like his philosophy. He's very, well, he's very knowledgeable. He's, I don't want to tell you everything about it, but it's about an elimination uh, diet. And to me, that makes a lot of sense because he really is knowledgeable about like the functions of the body and how foods affect it. So like main thing being like inflammation, for example, how the foods we eat can cause inflammation in our bodies oh. and how that can cause. That's groundbreaking. Cause us to swell. Again, cause not a dig, but I mean, Chantal. A lot of nutritionists are going to tell you that. A lot of people understand that. I mean, I'm glad that you're educating yourself, but stop trying to sell it like he's the first to figure this out. This is getting on my nerves. And just to really make you feel like shit, really, you know? And by doing an elimination diet for like two to six weeks, you can um, basically cleanse that, cleanse, cleanse out your body. I'm sorry. I don't, th I think that's great for some people. 
and I don't know where this is going at in this video, but this woman is not somebody who can do a two to six week elimination diet. This woman is a woman who needs a diet that can incorporate everything she wants to eat, but this woman needs to learn portion control because if you eliminate anything from her diet, that is when she crashes and burns and binges. Because, and I know that because I'm the same way. I cannot just eliminate all foods from my diet because when I do that, I might as well just not even try it because when you deprive, it's deprivation and it works great for some people, does not work great for all. It doesn't work great for me and I see a lot of me in her. No, take your mind out of the gutter, you dirty people. You know what I mean. She's not a woman who can deprive herself of anything. And if that's the only option, she's not She's not going to succeed. She can't. She, she, food is, she has a very special connection with food, and so do I. And you need to still keep the things that make you feel good, but you have to learn how to eat them like a normal human being <laughs> and not binge them. And then you need to learn how to plan the rest of your day around those foods. Maybe at some point later as the weight comes off and you start realizing, oh, wow, when I eat more of this and less of this, I feel better. That's when I think deprivation, whatever the hell it's called, can come into play. But you, it's like when I said when her and veganism. You can't start just being a vegan when you're Chantal like a foodie beauty. You might be able to do it later, but... Her weight is more important than going than saving the animals right now. Sorry, don't kill me, vegans. But when she learns how to control her food portions and, and, and her desires and she learns more about food, that's when she can go vegan because food will mean less happiness for her than it means now. It'll be more of, what do they say? Uh, uh, learning, uh, eating to live and not living to eat. By eating certain foods that are really just clean and healthy. Um, Duh. And then, you know, eliminating... A lot. So eliminating some citrus fruit, um, nightshades, soy, all grains, well, soy all dairy, um, maybe some butters allowed. But like eliminating things that a lot of people have problems with. And if you know me, I have a lot of problems with food. So yes, that would be something that is very ideal for me. And, and if she can do it, maybe, listen, if she can prove me wrong and she can stick to this, that's great. I hope she does. And I'm not saying she shouldn't or she shouldn't try. But I just see it ending in disaster because if I sign up for this program and they said you got to go six weeks eliminating this, 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 and that, I'd say forget it. I already can tell you it's not going to work for me. And people will say, well, that's why you're still heavy. Well, you know what? Yeah, but I've lost almost 35 pounds since January 2nd. So my problem isn't that I don't know how to lose weight. I know how to lose weight. It's just my problem is I love to drink. <laughs> not that I'm an alcoholic, but the drinking part and the social part is what destroys my macro counting. But that's what works for me when I stick to it. Because when I macro count, I still eat whatever I want. If I want to go out to McDonald's and have a quarter pounder with cheese and a french fry, I can do that because I know how to adjust my breakfast and my dinner around the fats, proteins, and carbohydrates I'm going to eat. So, no, I, I can't do it. I, I, I could try it for a week, but at the end of the week, I'd be like, this isn't worth it. I just My mind is not a deprivational mind. It just can't. A lot of food. And right at the bottom, it says this is not a restriction. Sorry, I know you all are here for the Chantal A.K. Foodie Beauty video. And some are going to be like, you're talking too much, but change the channel if you don't like it. This is, I'm just, this is, these are my thoughts, and this is what I do. Meant to be an elimination diet. And it's not forever. It's just temporary so that you can slowly introduce and food that's groups fine. into your and that's diet. Fine. Wait, a, wait a while and see. Journal how you're feeling. And it's a very healthy uh, way to do things. That, you know, just... Give your body a rest. To me, to that's, that's extreme and to me. I like that philosophy. It's like doing a juice fast. It's extreme. On paper. <laughs> oh, there we go. But in practice, there we go. Um, knowing myself, and I know you're waiting, you were waiting for a butt, but um, I'm just going to talk about freely about how my, my feelings about everything, and mm. I would really appreciate not being judged for it. Um, I'm not trying to just call, call I'll probably out. just say I told you so, but that's all I'm going to say. And not take responsibility for my health and everything like that. But I just feel, I feel like for myself... Um, elimination is a form of restriction and I know the idea is to just get past that that hump of like the two weeks and your palate will start to change but and some people will say maybe people part of his group saying if you have the willpower you don't want to do this because you're just choosing not to you have no willpower no it's not about that don't knock the woman she already knows herself and I, I, I a much smaller size would do the same thing that's not it could be great for you. It's not great for everybody. It's not a willpower thing. It's not a doesn't mean she's a failure thing. Not, not every diet's for everybody. If it was for everybody, this man would have 5 million subscribers. His way is great if it works for you. But I already knew it's not going to work for her. And she's admitting that now. And I wish it would. I wish she could do it. But I already know she couldn't. Not this. She's got to find something else that's going to work for her. 
I think um, elimination wise I'm gonna have to I think go a lot slower I don't know I just feel you know like starting with fast food and um, oh, this is gonna sound bad but like I said I'm just gonna like vent exactly my thoughts to you on everything and and I know that because I'm addicted to food yes that so am I of course the idea of not having those foods is gonna be depressing yes but for me the thought of always having to because I'm a food addict but I'm also a food lover I yes. love food I love yes recipes I love trying foods from different cultures yes and to just always have to be super super strict I mean looking at the amount of I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to say what I want to say. I know exactly what you're trying to say. I'm overwhelmed that program that. is for somebody who's already well into a weight loss journey. I think it would do great. Maybe I I mean I might even be able to try I don't no I see I'm lying to myself. I, I can't not and, and if people will say well then you'll never look like him that's fine. I ain't trying to look like him. I'm just trying to get to a health a healthy weight. Um and I just it's even, even I'm lying if I said I could attempt. I know I couldn't do it. I've tried restriction before. Um, you know, I, 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 I've given up things and, and I, you know, I've gone, you know, I've tried the veganism, vegetarianism, I've given up dairies, I've, I've given up, um, alcohol. It doesn't work long term for me. It's just, I get it. Life is too short for me. I know this is a stupid thing to say, but I don't want to get hit by a bus tomorrow. <laughs> and then think to myself, damn it. I should have had that cheesecake this week. I know that's maybe why I'm never going to have a six pack, but I'm not trying to get a six pack. I'm trying to be healthy, a healthier weight. People that are really rooting me on to do this. I don't. I don't really I'm like rooting you to do it, but I understand why you wouldn't. I get it. Like, so enormous. I think it's an amazing tool. I think what this person does. Is All right, amazing. stop selling him on. And it has worked us. for a lot of people. Um, I think finding what really, really works for you and what you feel right doing is key. And. That's all it is. Despite having so many people, there's no one plan for everybody. Me there's not. To do it, I feel like I need a different kind of help. Like I don't think I should have stopped my therapy. I mean, should um, I play I'm, the lottery? Because if you'll watch my Wednesday show with uh, No Fate Two Forty Seven, two guys weighing in every Wednesday at seven Eastern time, y'all would have known. I mean, literally, this is exactly what I said. I'm, I'm the, a lot of people give me flack and there's actually i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna have a, a humble moment here for someone else someone in the chat was not happy and was like you know you're being kind of negative this is what she needs to do this is gonna be a great plan for her that person you know who you are i'm not gonna say it aloud sent me a message overnight saying uh yeah i'm the person who said that in the chat on wednesday you were right i apologize not right in the head <laughs> I'm just gonna i've been it. fat a long time i know how fat works um <laughs> I think people want me to be a certain way. I get a lot less hate if I'm if I'm not weird, I'm not farting, um, if I'm not eating junk. I mean, that's always a good thing. And I just kind of feel like a bit depressed, like that I can't really just be myself. She should try Weight Watchers. She should try WW. She should. You know what I mean by that? I have my thoughts on WW, but I think WW would be a good thing for her to try because she'd still be able to eat whatever she wanted and still lose weight. Now, she'd have to stick to the points. That part is restrictive, but I mean, she'd get a lot of points to begin with, and by the time the points start going down, she would start she would start figuring out the difference between zero points and 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 other foods and she at that point she'd start saying, "Oh, I can have more chicken breast and less, you know, uh french fry." She should try WW, that's my opinion. But anyway, um I think it's great for a person who has a lot of weight to lose. Like <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad to start with, and I then really you can want... get off WW and go and do something else. Maybe even then try the swole thing later. But not right. She's not ready for the swoles. I want to emphasize again, I'm not ungrateful, and I'm not giving up on myself. I also think he turned her on, and that's why she jumped to the opportunity. She was like, "Oh, look at that D with all that muscle on it." I'm just trying to explain how I feel about everything. The Facebook group, people are very supportive, but I don't think I like online support. I know that sounds bad, but I just I mean, I gotta play the like lottery. Too many people. It's not personal enough. It's not. <sighs> she needs somebody in her face or a one on one opportunity. She, 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 I'm telling you, she, the woman has no self control. And when you have no self control or the willpower of, 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 uh, whatever has no willpower, I can't think right now. She has no willpower. She can't do this on her own and she can't do this online with a group of people. She's not somebody who's going to do well with, oh, but you have all these people rooting behind you. She has that now on YouTube and she still fails. She needs, she needs a one on one. She, she needs, she needs, she needs prayer. I'm going to pray on it. I don't know these people. You know what I mean? And I don't have time. 
I mean, really do I know her or do I know her? And interacting with so many more people, it's just overwhelming for me because I already have to deal with that on I YouTube mean, and on I'm gonna stop talking. Instagram, and I just, I just don't like, I don't like Facebook. I, I didn't have a Facebook really, like that I was on before this. I had one a long time ago, but um, I haven't been on it in a while. Um, so it's just like, I kind of want to just find my way, even though you have seen nothing but failure so far. I still want to find my own way and my own way of, you know what I mean? Like, no, you need somebody's help. This. When I finally do it, I don't want it to be because of somebody else or no, somebody else's no, program. No, okay, that's stupid too. You need help. <laughs> you cannot do this on your own. You got to find the right program that works for you. Um, you've got, I mean, if she would, like I said, I think, w, I honestly, I think WW would be the best thing for her just to start with. Uh, a lot of people have their thoughts on that. I have my own thoughts on it. At this weight that I'm at, it's not good for me. But if I was her size, I would try it and I think it would work well for me. She needs to try WW. I want to do it with all the credit going on me. No, like, you I can't. That really no, but hey, okay, this is how stupid that sounds. Chantal, aka okay, Foodie Beauty, it doesn't matter what plan you use. You're still doing it. You, you, it's on you. You are the only person who can do it. So whether it's WW, whether it's Swole's nuts on your chin, whether it's Jenny Craig, at the end of the day, it's you doing it. So it doesn't matter what plan you pick. It's so stop making this stupid excuse. Unless you're gonna create this new uh, innovative diet that's gonna sweep the world, it's always this is ridiculous conversation. Just shut up. <laughs> Absorbed, and it was everything I read and watched those, the videos. I'm telling you, you should sign up for you know. Okay. Yeah. You should sign up for the program. I'm, I'm just gonna say that because infomercial. If you're somebody who really likes the direction from other other people, this guy, this Papa Swole is very knowledgeable, and it did give me an outside perspective outside of my own self um, to insight from a different perspective and that was really helpful um i sound so bad she didn't even try <laughs> i knew this would be overwhelming she didn't even I try just, i know what's I best it. for myself my problem is not that i don't know what to do it's that i just don't do it and i don't um, i have to really um I think find it's a way both. for me to be successful with I it i know it, no matter what i do it's going to take a lot of hard work it's both but for somebody who doesn't like hard work i think there are oh geez um, different ways to do it i think this is just too like no <sighs> no matter how you do it it's going to be hard work like i said with a program like WW, it's I don't know this is not a WW first. I'm not sponsored by that, but I just think at her size it'd be great for her because it's not as restrictive. Um, WW in the beginning for someone of your size is going to be a lot of fun. You're going to be able to eat what you want. You're still going to be able to go to get fast food. You're going to get all excited. Be like, oh, I got points for a Big Mac. Oh, I got points for a French fry. It's a lot of fun at the beginning, but as you lose weight and the points get lower, it's going to become hard work. No matter what you do, it's going to be hard work. I think people want me to become this like super like. Turn my complete channel around into like a weight loss. No, well, I mean we just want you to lose weight. And well, I hate fitness. Like I hate working out. Well, if I ever do exercise, it so would do I, Chantal. Working, honestly, and that's fine to um, start with. I hate yoga. Oh, I hate, I hate yoga. meditation. Oh, I hate yoga. Ugh. Um, Ugh. and that doesn't mean I'm going to be fat forever. I was I a yogi for three right. months, and I was like, no, I'm done. I'm done. That was too much for me. I hate yoga. No offense, if you love the yoga, it's good for you, not for me. Right now, okay, but I'm just going to start with the fast food, like I said I was going to do. And I'm going to go back to therapy, really try to get my mental health in check, and for support. She's gonna um, start with the fast. She's gonna eat fast. So she's. I don't know. She I just says she's gonna use my family and friends for now because. So she's gonna go back to, to fast them. food. I, I mean, this is this, this is like, insanity, yeah, Chantal. But I don't like the impersonal online thing. I just it doesn't work for me. Like I just don't want to go on Facebook. So those are my my qualms. Again, I'm not dogging on the Swolormus X website. Oh, because you're terrified of him. Oh. Because you're terrified he's going to do exactly what I said he was going to do if you fail this program. He's going to create another video uh, dogging you for views. And this is a video of you for view. I mean, this is literally everything I said on Wednesday with some of y'all were like, you're horrible, is playing out right in front of our eyes. Now, did they communicate before this? And she said, listen, please don't dog me again. I'll, I'll talk you up and try to get you uh, more, more money. Uh, probably. Uh, or maybe they didn't. And maybe this is her just totally just... Going against him, and he's probably watching this live, thinking, "Wow, you, 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 uh, you ungrateful little snot." I, I don't know, but probably they probably talked before this. But is this not everything I said that was going to happen? Tell me I'm wrong. For anybody who helps people, and I just don't feel like myself when I'm doing weight loss health content. Like I, I feel like I'm being a good little pupil or something, and I just hate that. Like I'm, 
I just want to be true to myself. She just, she's, like, she's not ready whatever. for it. She does you not know? want to lose weight. She doesn't want to. I just have to deal with that. She's you know, not I'm different. That's what you deal with. I don't know what yeah. point she will be. I mean, she's she's heavy. She's getting heavier if she continues eating the way she is. I don't know when she's going to be ready for it, but she's not ready for it now. And this is listen, listen to all your people who want to like scream at her and get real mad. This is her life. This is her choice. Okay, a psych. Ooh, ooh. That was not an earthquake. That was my big old booty slamming into the desk. Um, Y'all going to get mad at her? Oh, it's another cycle. I hate her. Change the channel because, listen, it sounds like the cycle's coming. And if you're not ready for it, change the channel. You know who you are. Change the channel. Deal with people making fun of you. It's coming. It's coming. If you fart, if you're... I don't know if you're bald, <laughs> balding. Okay, I, I'm going to give them the farting things. and I mean, that's a little too much, Chantal. Like, for the beauty. We don't need to be farting on camera. Let's just be a lady. Whatever. You know, that's... I mean... My back. I don't know. Now, no, I'm not going back to picking out for on mukbangs and stuff like that. Oh, I hope not. I do want to cook more. Uh, oh, recipes. but you keep and saying that. Story times and, the spacious um, kitchen. Some mukbangs with... Uh, that spacious kitchen. Uh, I don't know if you even call it a mukbang at that point. But, like, you know... I just... Things I enjoy doing. And vlogs. I really enjoyed my vlog the other day, you know, where I show you guys what I eat in a day. That was nice. And hopefully we can start going places soon. I think they're opening up parks and stuff and doing vlogs with pizza on the weekend and just being silly and weird and not so serious. Every time I say something, I picture like a response video of people like, it is serious. You're going to die. Your health is serious. I know. Okay. I know this sounds so terrible and so uninspirational, but I don't really want to be an inspiration to people. Like I don't want to and i don't think you need to I be i think that's a lot of pressure to put i'm not doing i'm not trying to lose weight to inspire other people if i inspire people along the way that's great but i'm doing this for me you need to do this for you chantal like i mean it's, it's not your job to inspire people to lose weight they got to get to that point where they realize enough is enough and they want to lose weight just like the point that we're still waiting for you to get to and i, I do hope you get to it soon because it is not healthy it is not a healthy way to live in chantal like if you you are missing out on so many things and you got that dominican d you'll be trying to get in february how are you gonna be getting that d if you can't even like fly there come on like i don't know do you know what i'm saying anyway you can see this as giving up whatever i just have to be true to myself or else i'll go nuts that's basically what i'm saying and yeah. Oh, I talked way so, too much this video. I'm sorry. It's so long. It's long so, as yeah. hell. I think. Uh, just let me keep working on it. This is a big thing. This is a big life change. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to be linear and perfect just for videos. You know, just for for people's approval. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, if you enjoy being here, um, I'm still here. I'm here for the ride. Because take me as I, I do have fi take, take my, my life. life. I love that song. Um. Because I, I know she's going to get to that point. So, and I know y'all think I'm crazy. It's cycles. and you know. But I'm, I, I know she's going to get to the point where she's going to realize she needs to do something. I just don't think this was what she needed to do. It's too drastic. But she's going to get there. I know, she, I know she's going to get there. Listen, my faith has been restored. She's going to get there. Just this was a wrong. This was a horrible wrong turn. And I knew it was going to It was gonna uh, ruin her, her, her mentality. It was going to make her. Because, I mean, when you are big like that and like i am or was much bigger when you want to start a diet and something like that is at you and we have the same kind of relationship with food it's very demoralizing like you you realize that and you think oh god i can't give up all this for six weeks and then you get in your own hand you're like god i'm so lazy i have no willpower i'm this i'm that and then what do you do to feel better you go out and you eat junk food to make it's, it's a stupid cycle but i understand it i was so disappointed she's defeated brian adam said She's defeated, and I knew this would there. defeat her. It's pretty racist. And some of you probably think if you don't know about it, racist. Google. Oh, I don't want to know. Um, and I know y'all think, well, why is she so defeated? This is part of her cycle. No, I think she. I honestly think she got excited by the program, not just his D. I think she got excited, and then when she saw what she had to do, and she realized I'm not ready for this. It's she's de she feels defeated. It's demoralizing, and I get it. And again, this is not against this program. Stop coming at me saying that. Oh, you're just hating on him. No, no. I, the guy, like I said, he knows what he's doing, but. Not for her, not for me. All over. Because I really liked his music. I mean, I like his music. Okay, wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. But I just want to be silly and have fun. Let's wrap it honestly. up. Every time I start bringing my weight into my videos. All right, let's wrap it up. It's like I feel like I have to. Like I just feel so frustrated. Like I just feel like I can't escape my weight being a public issue. And I don't want, I really just want to be seen as myself, not as my weight. Not as, you know, a fatty or a ham planet or somebody who's morally fucked up because they're a ham planet you know? like i know my weight is not healthy i just i, I want to deal with it 
in the way that I think. I'm I not laughing because somebody called her hair plant. It's a horrible thing. But it's just, I'm just literally, as she's talking, all I see is a plant made out of ham right now. And it's just making me giggle. Who the hell called her a ham planet? Y'all are, y'all are evil as hell. A ham planet. Is that what she said? Ham planet? I can't. And I'm still fighting that out. Um, so it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. It's, it shouldn't be. Doing something like that. Girl, you got to get off YouTube like, then. Very, you gotta get off YouTube and just do it. I guess I just feel really vulnerable when I start really getting into it. Most you know? people who start their weight loss journey on YouTube, they do it because YouTube is gonna keep them accountable. I know it's helped me, uh, especially the first three months of this year. Um, but if YouTube's not doing that for you, if YouTube is making it worse, you need to get off YouTube and get a job. And then come back on YouTube, and when you start making money again, then you quit your part-time job. But if it's not helping you, then get off. So, yeah. I'm sorry if I disappointed anybody, but like I said, I'm just... I'm going to say to you what I said to Miss Amberlyn Reed when she canceled that stupid curvy calorie show. You don't have to apologize to anybody else. This is your life. The only person who you're doing harm to is yourself. Um, and if anybody's mad at you, that then they need a life. I'm sorry. You need a life. I'm going to get mad over somebody I don't know. I, I wish her the best. I hope she gets healthier because she's a human being. And I think she deserves, I think everybody deserves to be healthy, even Amberlyn Reed. But if you don't want that for yourself right now, that's on you. I don't have to watch you. I can turn the channel. Change the ch turn, change the channel. Turn, who cares? So yeah, uh, I, I, people need to stop apologizing. Uh, don't apologize to me. I mean, you apologize to yourself, your body, the strain you're putting on everything because you're the one who's hurting yourself. You're not hurting me. And No, that doesn't mean I'm enabling her. I'm just, I'm a realist. I want her to get healthy. But if she doesn't want to, that's her life choice. It's her decision. I have to be true to myself. And no. I really don't like when people comment things like, oh, you're... Hopeless, you're a failure, you... Oh, people are horrible. People are horrible human um, beings. It's just so wrong to tell somebody that stuff, you know? People are horrible. Because you never know when the pattern will be broken. The pattern I've gone, yeah, sure. Like, if I keep going like that, I'm not going to lose weight, but that's a no-brainer. But, one day. And, I, like I said, I have this trip to go to. So, I definitely am making some changes. So that I, can I hope so. Be comfortable on that trip. I hope so. You gotta get that D. You know, be healthier. I want to vlog so about the D. I'm going to share share with you guys. A D of vlog. But I just or is it a D log? A vlog? I want to be part of a definitive program, especially online. And I don't mean that in a, I didn't mean to sneer, <laughs> especially online. It's just not for me. It works for some people. Um, but I just find it a bit overwhelming and a little impersonal. So I hope you guys understand that, that I'm coming from a good place. And there's nothing for me to I'm understand. I don't it's know. your life. I really don't understand why people think that. <laughs> like, I don't think so. Anything I, I do, think, I, don't I think she got excited about it or whatever, and you know, then realized, uh oh, come on here and be myself most of the time and just do whatever I feel like doing. Um, your life, your channel. Here, you know, I, I just feel like your life, like your channel. Really give it some thought and your health, not mine. Really have to just do what I feel is best. Mm. Um, I don't, I don't agree. Like people are saying, well, you didn't listen to your, the weight loss doctor because I found his meal plan very restrictive. Like. It was very, very low carb, and I just don't, I don't believe in that. You don't, like, don't have to be. Low carb. She doesn't have to be. I think be. carbohydrates are important. And not just only that, it's not just that, it's just, it's very restrictive, you know? So, like, what my weight loss doctor would say, the eating disorder doctor would conflict with that. And it's like, who the fuck do I believe? When I initially lost my first uh, round in 2003, when I lost the 80 pounds, I think it was, when I was almost 300 pounds, um, actually more than 80, probably 90 pounds, um, I did weight, I did low, low carb, and it worked wonderfully, but... I love carbs too much, and you can have your carbohydrates as long as you measure and weigh everything. You can, you don't have to be that restrictive. If it works for you, great. It worked for me, but when I got off it, so half the weight came back because it's just something that's something I could do for the rest of my life. I, I'm sorry, I love I love toast with an egg. I love a potato. It's just it was very hard. It was great to keep me from going over 300 pounds. I'm very grateful that I did it when I did it because who knows where I'd be today if I didn't finally turn it around. You know. Uh, 17 years, oh gosh, 17 years ago. Oh, I'm so old. But uh, yeah, no, I, I definitely, actually 17 years next month. Oh, geez, take the wheel. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's just, it's it's great. And I think she might benefit from a month on it. Maybe she should, Chantal, like if you did, maybe do, just do it for a month. Just don't cut out the carbs for one month. See how much weight you'll lose. And then decide on the second month. Do you want to do another month or do you want to switch to a program where you can have the carbohydrates and other things? And I'm just, there's so many different ways of there's so many different experts there's there's it's just overwhelming and I just a lot of ways I'm to lose so, weight a lot so overwhelmed and i realize that i'm listening to too many other opinions i have to know myself um and how i think mm. i would be successful mm. 
in not binging. It's so maddening. So for now, all I'm gonna do is just try to make as much fresh food as I can here, trying different things. Let's hope so. No more fast food runs. More at home and less processed. Remember, you had that fast food funeral. I bet not see you resurrecting them fast foods. Okay, then fast foods is dead. They ain't coming back, or they are not in the Bible. But to be one of those completely super clean eaters, you know, like just grass-fed bison and avocado and sweet potato, like, I don't even like any of that. Not to start, no, sorry. If I don't like the food, I know I'm going to fail. I just know myself. Like, I just may as well just give up right now on that because... I almost have to trick my brain. She's got to work. I have to trick myself. She's got to work on this. She has to work so, on. She has to work on this connection with the food. She has to because this is even worse than mine. Like I can eat grass-fed stuff and and stick to that. But what I like, I can do that. But as soon as you tell me, oh, don't have dairy, don't have bread, don't have this stuff, I'm like, no, I can't do that. And I know that, that you know the Soul Enormous program seems to be very flexible in certain ways. It's not just. It's not anything to do with the program. All right, we got, got it. We got it. it. We got it. I just don't think. We got it. Right now. Um, we got it. I'm. I don't think it's right for me. I think, like I said, um, yep, we got it. Therapy and whatever. Anyway, I just don't want to talk about it anymore because whenever, like I say, I'm going to do something and it doesn't work out for whatever reason, you know, people hold you to it. And well, you know how I am. So I just cause myself grief. So I think what really is best is for me to just do whatever content and. You know, if you're going to watch me, just don't come here with any expectations of me being, you know what I'm saying? Um, but just don't eat fast food. To Arby's and do Arby's videos and I hope kind of not. Stuff. Oh, I, I hope really not. Need to. Like I enjoy cooking. I hope so. So I hope so. You know, I hope so. Just healthier things, like a lot of you have said. So, all right. Um, I mean, I've been getting a lot of messages from people who are like, the minute that I say like I want to lose weight and really commit to losing weight, it's like people are coming out of the woodwork. People who are like, oh, I've been a hater. I've said some really horrible things to you, and I'm sorry. And well, I'm that's just like, nice. it's good. But you know what? It's really not. And deep no. down, it's not. It's not. Because it's like, I only get treated, not just me, but other people, other overweight people. It's like, we only get treated well if we are losing weight or trying to lose weight. Well, what people tell me, though, what people tell me is people hate, this hate, extremely hate this woman. They, a lot of people dislike her. I'll never understand the hatred for a person on YouTube. It's just too much for me. Unless they're like being a racist and a bigot or something. But um, because of her past behaviors and things she's done and said, I don't know all that history, nor do I care to go back into documentaries and watch it. Um, it's just, But if, you, if somebody on YouTube triggers you this much where you have that much hate over somebody you've never met, change the channel. And it's just like that's that, that right there is like the epitome of the problem. I don't think that people, or obese people, as an obese person, I can say, I'm not trying to promote obesity, but I want to be treated like a human being, you know, <laughs> just like everyone else. Um, All right, we so got yeah. it. We got it. That's my thought on that. All right, guys, I've talked enough, but uh, yes. that's my thought. Those are my thoughts. And she's going to keep talking. Um, I hope you understand. And if you don't, oh, well. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. I said everything I wanted to say in the video. I don't want to keep you here too much longer, but it's official. The Papa Swole Chantal, aka Foodie Breedy breakup. It happened. And it happened for the exact reasons why I said it would happen. So I hate being right all the time. But listen, um, I hope she stays away from the fast food. I hope she continues. Uh, I hope she she starts this whole cooking at home thing. She does need a program. Chantal, like if the video, you can't just lose weight on your own. You need guidance, whether it's a, a WW, a Jenny Craig, a Papa Swole. If you want to get that restrictive, you need, you need guidance. You can't just go this on your own. You've got to know what to eat, how to eat it. And if you want to eat the bad food, you got to know how to measure it, how to weigh it, how to balance it into your day. And if you're not going to do that, then you're not going to succeed. But again, your channel, your life, your health. Do whatever you want. Stop listening to people. And y'all, y'all out there who are like screaming at the top of your lungs as she's doing this, y'all need to find something else to do because this is her life. This is her channel. And and you know, I know I have faith. One day she's gonna turn it around. I know y'all think, Gaining God, you're so stupid. This is the beginning of another cycle. She'll be mukbanging next week. If she is, she is. This is her. This is what she wants to do. If she doesn't care about her own health, and if she is not interested in improving herself and and getting uh, healthier to get some Dominican D, why should I get upset over it? This is what she wants to do. It's it's her her universe. I'm just living in it. Anyway, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure you go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below. Uh, make sure you click the bell next to it to be alerted every time I upload new content. Give this video a thumbs up. When you give this video and other videos on my channel a thumbs up, it means you like my videos. When you like my videos, it means you like my channel. And when you like my channel, my channel. Grows. And uh, 
Feel free to share this video on other social media. I also have all my social media links down below. Feel free to follow me there because I'm cute. My Teespring store is also now linked to my channel, so go ahead and order a mug. What better way to start your day than drinking hot piping coffee to this cute little face? Anyway, as always, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking it most of all. Thank you for watching. And until next time.